Hi guys, this is Tia T's Doll Room. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing on the Our Generation Holiday Celebration Set. Now, many of you already know that Our Generation is like the 18-inch doll version of the American Doll Series. Now, while I don't collect the American Girl type dolls, but I do use their furniture because a lot of it is actually pretty good scale for the 12 and 13 inch fashion dolls that I do collect. So I heard an online discussion a couple of weeks ago and people wanted to know if the fireplace and Christmas tree was compatible for the fashion royalty and Barbie size dolls and I responded yes I do have one but I've never taken it out of the box. So I told them I would do a video about it. So this is a shout out to Jen Howard. Jen I'm doing your video. Hope you like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do. Um, a little bit of background about this is that I've wanted this set for a while and it retailed at well over $100 when it came out. And I didn't want to pay that for it. And by the time Target had it on sale after Christmas, all of them were gone. So, you know, what we do is use our resources. And I was talking to my doll buddy, Justin, and he lives in Texas. And he happened to be in a surplus discount store. And he found this, even though it was salvaged, because as you, as you can see, the box is pretty beat up. But it had a price tag of $59.99 on it, but he got it for $30. So I ended up paying $30 for this set that retailed well over $100. So even if something is missing in it, I have the basic pieces, which is the tiled fireplace and the Christmas tree. And some of the accessories like the ornaments and the lights. A lot of these other things like the stockings and candles and presents, they're really a you know, way too big for my doll set, but that's okay. I have a girlfriend, Mel. She'll get all the accessories to use with her 18-inch um, fashion doll, so they'll be perfect scale for her. So we'll swap that out. So I just wanted to introduce the set to you. We're going to get it out of the box, and I'm going to come back and show you all the pieces. out of the box um my first impression is that i love the christmas tree i love the fact that it comes with a set of lights on it it also comes with six double a batteries that i did not have to purchase separately so that was a win-win for this and despite the shape that the box was in looks like everything is perfect and it's intact it's a little dusty but we can remedy that with the damp cloth but i love the christmas tree love the faux wooden base on it I'll probably drape some fabric around it for Christmas time and put a few more ornaments. It did come with nine ornaments. These are quite heavy. It's almost like they're solid marble or something, but they're quite heavy. Um, I have other 
you know, small size ornaments, Dollar Tree, places like that. Michaels has miniature ornaments that we can get to put on here, or just really small uh, Christmas ball ornaments that you use for a human size tree will go perfectly with scale for this tree. It comes with a little star right here, and as I said, it has a little base, a little button on the base, and you press it, and the lights come on. So I thought that was really neat. And to see how it measures up for one of the dolls, let's see. Let's get Lucas so y'all can see how tall Lucas is. He's a Homs. I think it's perfect scale for him. It just looks like a really big, tall, maybe seven and a half foot Christmas tree. That it would be the same if um, it was a six foot man standing next to a seven and a half foot Christmas tree. So I think it's very realistic for pictures and everything. So I like that the scale of this for these dolls. Um, what really intrigued me about this set was this face and the way that it looks like it has a stone tile on it and it has the brown mantle. It even has two little hooks that are protruding here where you can hang your, your dolly stockings there. And this, it has a little crack here, but that's okay. We can cover that up with some paint or something. But it has this like log and faux fire here. And when you press the button, the fire lights up and it actually makes a crackling fire sound. So I think that's really cool. Um, I love the scale of the piece. I think it's realistic and we'll put Lucas next to it. You know, they're doing the big tall fireplaces. So I don't think it's a bad scale for our 12 to 13 inch dolls. Um, Barbie may look a little short next to it. Let me get one of them. Okay, so this is Barbie next to it. And again, the way they're doing everything so oversized in the houses these days, I don't think it's a bad skill for her. She doesn't have heels on or anything, and she's standing next to it. And it just looks like it's appropriate for somebody who's short, like me standing next to a huge fireplace. So I think this is really good scale for our dolls and actually since the 18 inch dolls are so tall I think it's actually a better scale for 12 inch dolls than it is for the 18 inch our generation dolls but that's just my personal opinion so I wanted to show you what it came with it came with this little lovely tray and has this polka dot print on the bottom of it and it has these two drinks and these stockings as you can see they're really huge and then the candles and I think probably if I wanted to keep them and use them as some, you know, large table decorations or Christmas decorations, it would work for myself. And then it has two cookies and a plate and a glass of milk and this little piece of paper that says, like, it, they're writing a letter to Santa. It has two huge presents. And, you know, you could use these for your... For Barbie as well. These are really nicely done paperboard boxes with real bows on them. They're very nice, but she'll be able to use them. And I'll just be hoarding them for no reason. But I love this gift set. Um, I am very glad, very blessed that I managed to get this for $30. And it does have a painting. As you see, it has a little peg that protrudes from the stoneware here. And you just pop the little painting onto it. And I can use you know other artwork i could probably make something on foam core and take some double-sided tape and just stick it there or even a little tv i could make a flat screen tv and put it up there for the dolls and everything but i think this is going to be a great diorama piece for the winter when i do my little christmas scene i've been wanting a christmas tree for a while so i finally have one i can add some more lights to it and some more ornaments and i think this is going to be a well-used diorama piece for my doll room. So if you have any questions, drop me a comment below. What kind of Christmas tree or Christmas decorations do you use or holiday decorations, Hanukkah, what have you that you use or if you have any other tips that I could use to add to or customize this, I'd be glad to hear it. Let me know if you have one of these sets and use these with your dolls. Thank you so much for watching, for hanging in there. Um, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell so you will know when I upload the next video. And we'll see you back at T's Doll Room. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it or found it helpful. Bye!